All right, in my wood yard here, and been doing quite a bit of splitting. So I got the the new log splitter, the 17 RS Wolf Ridge. Really excited about it. I think it does a great job. I like the single wedge better because it doesn't make so many small pieces. And uh, from the larger pieces when you split it, it's a cleaner split. And the cleanup's not too much. Look at all this cleanup over here that I've got to do after this. Just that amount of firewood. That right there. And then all this that I did. What do you guys think? You think it's gonna, this is what happens. See, it'll look like this. And most of this is actually pretty dry. It's probably 25% moisture or something like that. And I wanna get it below 20 for sure before I sell it. But if it's pretty green wood and you stack it like this, I mean, it's difficult for it to stay nice and straight like this. It shrinks, that wood shrinks so much when that moisture comes out of it. Look at this, that was a, Really nice looking pile at one point. So was this one. But as you can see, over time, and that's been out there for a year and a half, that wood right there. It's still off the ground, that's the most important thing. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm not used to stacking so much wood that is almost ready to burn. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's gonna shrink as much. And this right here, and I'm working on, so I've got some beach in here. That is this fella right here, beach. Got some red oak. So this is my red oak and and uh, beach pile. And that beach is really difficult to split. The red oak, simple. It's the best one to hand split if you ever, if you ever decide to start hand splitting. Uh, red oak is a great one to start with. It's a stray grain wood, but if it's on the ground, it stays wet for a long time. This is the red oak. That's the beech. Beech is one of those trees that you can carve your initials in there and it's going to stay in there forever. It's pretty neat. So, anyway, just having fun in the wood yard.